We are the Harlan County High School Student Senate, and we established the CHAR project last year that stands for Community Homes for Homelessness and Addiction Recovery. My name is Caleb Ashley, and I'm the senior member. My name is Brenna Early, and I'm the junior member. Um, so our uh, goal is to create a tiny home subdivision that allows drug rehabilitation graduates and homeless students to have transitional housing. Along the way, we've picked up many community partners that have helped us through this journey. Uh, crossed Hands. The Appalachian Challenge Academy. Harlan County Fiscal Court. The Kentucky Valley Educational Cooperative. And the Harlan County High School Frisk Center. Uh, the benefits for the rehab graduates through CHAR is it provides transitional housing from the drug rehabilitation programs and, uh, and our homeless student population. It provides a sustainable solution to break the cycle of both addiction and relapse. It offers a hand up in the stability needed to become a productive member of society. The transitional housing is able to aid in prevention by educating our community about the effects and impacts of addiction. And we also offer counseling, um, job placement, and transportation. Uh, the benefits for the homeless students is it keeps them out of their prior living conditions. Uh, clothing and hygiene items pr are provided by Christ Hands and HEHS Free Center. Hot meals are provided daily by Christ Hands. And it provides a hand up that would allow them to focus more on education and excel more in high school. These are our banners that we were able to purchase last year through the grant to spread the awareness of our project. So this year, uh, in December of 2019, we got new uh, statistics for our homeless rates. For Harlan County High School, our enrollment is 1,024, and our homeless population is 399. That's 38.9% that the state deems homeless. But the state's definition of homeless is substandard housing, or if you live with someone other than a parent or guardian. But then there are also a population that are truly homeless. Here are the homeless rates for the entire Harlan County Schools District. Uh, the enrollment is 3,746, but the homeless population is 1,329, which is 35.5% of students that are homeless in Harlan County. And that's based on December 2019 statistics. So this year we added a new uh, aspect to our project called the Workstations for Wages and Education. It allows the residents of homes to be able to have work from home opportunities. It allows homeless students the ability to work on homework, apply for colleges and scholarships, and get part-time jobs. It makes the homes seem more modern and attractive. And training is provided by the Harlan County Fiscal Court. The benefits for the drug rehabilitation graduates through the Workstations for Wages and Education is no transportation would be needed to get to their job. The area will be easily monitored to increase rate of success in breaking the relapse cycle. And it makes the homes more appealing, appealing due to modernization technology. It would give a boost of pride and confidence. The benefits for the homeless students is it provides a chance for part-time jobs after school. It provides a way for students to work on their homework. It provides an opportunity for students to apply to college, trade schools, and for scholarships. And it gives a sense of modernization and would increase pride and confidence in the students. Um, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we've had a setback. We're requesting that we can order the items, which is the computers and the workstations, next year at a time in which they can immediately be placed in the tiny homes. And also, we've had some other setbacks due to uh, the infrastructure. So since the last fire summit, uh, we are planning to purchase the necessary equipment whenever they can be placed. And four tiny homes are complete and five more are being built. We hope to have them placed by April, but due to the delayed placement of infrastructure and the COVID-19 pandemic, we are unsure at this time when they can or will be placed. And I was able to pitch the project at the National Rural Education Conference in Louisville and participate in a four student panel uh, telling about our project to people nationwide. And we also gained a major community partner, Mosaic Tiny Homes. Uh, Mosaic Tiny Homes is a pastor out of Northern Kentucky. He's a revivalist, uh, Mr. Rick Curry. He is committed to building five tiny homes at a time for as many tiny homes as we can accommodate. And he has five of those tiny homes completed and he uh, said that he would start on the next five as soon as his original five are placed. Uh, this is a photo journey that uh, is created from those five tiny homes in Northern Kentucky at their church.
So through the grant, uh, we're planning to purchase computer workstations, monitors, uh, work desk and chairs, Wi-Fi USB adapters, and 32 gigabyte flash drives. And here's our website, uh, www.chhar.org. If you ever need to get in contact with us or if you're wanting to see updates on the project, here's where we keep them.